All right, we're live. <laughs> so I was going to ask you, you're, are you are you reading, Chris? How far along are you? No, you're not reading. Good you're not, question. You're not far I have, along. <laughs> no, I, in fact, I'm re, I just restarted it because I did. Oh. I know I read it on the last reading sprints, but I'm feeling like I need to restart it. I've been, I actually had to restart a few books recently because I'm just. I'm having a hard time with my reading at the moment. Yeah, no, I, so, I feel that. I I have, it is October 15th and I have yet to finish a book this month. So that's fun. Oh no, I know yeah. October is not September for me. I agree. <laughs> Last month I did really well and this month I'm, it's not, yeah. it's not but going so well. As far as Crest goes, I, I am trying a different tactic this time where I'm reading in five, chapter increments so that I can comment in the chat. And I feel like that's working really well. I'm on chapter 26 in Cress. So oh, I'm getting nice. Yeah. 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 That's and I've really, really, really been enjoying it. So that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. I do. The, that's what I did last time. I did the, um, I did the five, five, uh, five chapter increments so I could make sure I was commenting yeah. and I'm planning on doing that this time as well. So I like, I like that a lot. Yeah, it helps. It helps to be able to get the conversation going. So that's nice. Let's hey, see what we got hey, Amy. Hello. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> hey, Amy. <laughs> hello. Welcome we were, everybody. We were just talking how's about everybody? how far along we are in Chris. So yeah. feel free to chime How's in. everybody else doing? Um, so you're, you're pretty far along though. How many chapters are in this? <clears throat> yeah, there's, well, let's see. 61. Oh, 61. yeah, you're right. There's 61. So you're, you're almost halfway. I'm getting to the halfway point. Yeah. 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 I, I, my reading is just, it's, it's I will get month. this done. Yeah. I will get this done. I will get yeah, Ferris I have, done. I have faith in you. <laughs> but there's those not are, gonna those be are priorities, many. right? I know. <laughs> exactly. There's not going to be too much else I'll get done this month. We'll see. I did get two books finished this past week, but they were books I had already been working on for a while. So, okay. yeah, yeah, it's <sighs> great job, Amy, Amy. Amy finished, Chris. Yeah. What are you going to be reading, Amy? Yeah. Small Spaces. <laughs> I wanted to get that one done this month so she and I could low key talk about it because, yeah. Have you and since it? that's the one that Sherry picked for my case file, mm -hmm. she did. <laughs> I know. I, it took her, I was like, that's not, that's not nice. And she's like, well, she needs to read it. I'm like, I do want yeah, to read it. <laughs> but giving her an extra book. <laughs> it's she's all like, good. But she wants to read it. <laughs> You know, the thing is, I'm going to get read what I'm going to get read, and we yeah. shall see. But and That's what I'm feeling this month, too. Like, it just, it, and I have so many books that I don't want, that I want to keep reading. So I, I just, it's going to be split between October and November is when it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I skipped a couple. I just finished Crest earlier this month. Great job, Jane. Six percent of the way through Ferris. Oh yeah, so that was not too long. Though, so that should go pretty quick. Once well, she just started Jane, this evening. Jane just Jane read small just spaces. read small spaces. All right. What'd you, what'd you think? I haven't read it, but you can still tell me what you think in a general <laughs> way. <laughs> Spoiler free. <laughs> Dale Hubbins hasn't started Crest yet. Gonna try to get it from my library. Oh, hopefully you can get it from your library. Yeah. I. I've had luck with getting more ebooks through my library than the actual physical books, but I tend to like reading physical books better. But hopefully you can get it. Oh, the audiobooks typically are pretty good of this series as well. So, yeah, I know, Kale. That's I feel ya. Really feel ya. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, busy. Oh, you're not very bush. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, hey, that's Jane. awesome. That's fantastic. We said, everybody, come join us at any time. We'll have we want to try everybody. To, 
try not to uh, spoil Cinder while you're here. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Paige. Hi, Paige. <laughs> how's it going? How's your, what is it then? This is a, how's your Saturday morning going? Can't are even you, imagine. Are you productivity sprinting? I think her, I think her master's is done now. So I don't know if she's doing sprints as much anymore. I'm coming off of a one point, oh, how one month oh, and a half reading slump. Oh, I feel that. Okay. Yeah, audiobooks can help with that too. Yeah, I, I, I can't even say I'm really fully slumping. For me, it's more just I just haven't had time to read enough much. And when I do finally try to read before I go to sleep, I fall asleep because I'm just too tired. Um, oops. About 33% through Ferris. Was it going to read Ferris again because it made. Oh, is that because it's about Lavana that it made you a bit feel feel icky? <sighs> Are you stopping at thirty three percent then? Yeah, I don't know. Good question. Four hundred fifty pages of it to go before I can start on Sarah. What? Cinder? On you Cinder mean or Cress? She, she means Cress. Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no sprints. I am free. Pages of it tonight. Uh. You better get cracked a lacking. She's free. She's free. Yay! Congratulations, Paige. Congratulations. She's free, and she has an amazing haircut. Yeah, it looks so <laughs> I cute. I love it so much. Yeah. Actually, just started a new job. I know the audiobooks are good, but I want to read physically. Yeah. I, I hear you, Kale. And congratulations on your new job. Hopefully, it's fantastic Yay. and everything's going smoothly. And you love your coworkers because that's like really important. Um, and episode. you like the work. Yeah. yeah. Still of course, we still want to hang out with Paige. Paige. Yeah, yeah, Paige, you're gonna have to keep having those sprints because we love them so much. This is true. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> she vacuumed and cleaned the bathrooms. Well, you're pretty hey. productive. That is definitely Man. productive. Come do mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Me next. <laughs> yeah, I, we figured, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> She's uh, finish. Yeah. So, makes me feel, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've read Ferris though before, before uh, Amy. Then so Lavana is pretty bad in that one too. I'm guessing if if it makes you feel icky. It must, yeah, it must yeah. not uh, redeem her, <laughs> which we knew was going to be hard to do. So yeah, yeah. she's pretty awful. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! That woman. <sighs> <sighs> Anything else you're reading, Danielle? That you want to share? Is no fun. Uh, that's fun. Oh, hey, also currently reading Dracula for the first time, which I know is a favorite of yours. Yes. And yes. I am actually past the halfway mark now. Oh. So that's exciting. See, I'm I'm getting there on a couple of my books, but I just haven't been able to say, hey, I finished this one. So, um, yeah, and then still reading that nonfiction one that I'm just doing like a chapter. I was trying to do like a chapter a day, but the past couple of days I haven't even done that, so... I understand. Yeah, James from James's Space is also reading Dracula right now, and they love it. Like they're really enjoying it. But I don't know if you are. I don't. I don't want to like, and I don't want to feel bad. No, I'm not going to feel no, bad. It's okay. <laughs> I I really am enjoying it. I'm just kind of like at the point of like, okay, where is it even going to go from here? Because I feel like we've already been through so much at this point in the book, and I'm just like, there's still half a book. <laughs> Yeah. I just can't imagine. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I, I just, I loved it. And I felt like it did a great job of keeping that, you know, like considering how old of a book it is, like the suspense in it was so good. And I was like, I, and I've read some other horror or older books that were, you know, older, older. Yeah, obviously they're older. Um, but it doesn't, you know, we're a little desensitized nowadays to the kind of horror that would have been scary then, but I felt like Dracula did a great job of getting my heart racing quite a bit. Yeah. So, I mean, I like, uh, you know, obviously I liked it, but. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like I've been too worked up at any one point. I think the hardest, okay. probably the hardest part for me was when, um, uh, Harker, what's his, Jonathan Harker, Jonathan Harker. was, was, trapped in the castle because I have issues with like being trapped 
like that's not not okay with me so i was really i was really feeling for him um when all that was going on yeah, but, I, yeah. I remember that being nerve-wracking yeah. yeah other than other than that nothing has has bothered me too much i don't know if i'm just kind of like detached or i don't that's I don't okay know. It's yeah, not that I, I don't, don't care. It, it's not that yeah. I don't care. It's just kind of like I'm reading it and I'm very aware that it's a story. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 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 Kale, it's nothing special, but it's a job. So I haven't read for a few days, but hopefully this weekend I can. Yeah, I hear you. And, you know, a job is a good, it's sometimes just a job is a job. <laughs> I understand yeah. that. I've been kind of wishing that I had just a, a very easy job lately. I mean, my job is easy because my boss is so, he's so good with my school schedule, but part of me just wants a job where I don't have to think about anything like working at a coffee shop or something where I can just go put a couple hours in and then not have to think about it ever again. Yeah. Cause I've just been feeling stressed lately. So sometimes it's just good to work. Oh, good. Oh gosh. Levon is not redeemed. Yeah, I knew, <laughs> I knew that was going to be hard to do. Uh, Paige can try for finishing it over the weekend. Oh, it trying to get it done so I can read the rest of my TBR, but I'm also back to working four days a week. Yeah, you're working a lot. We're all feeling it. Yeah, I don't trouble know what time squeezing is. the reading in. <laughs> time just goes so dang quickly. Yeah. Kale just finished small spaces. Everybody's yeah. reading small spaces oh my right gosh. now. <laughs> gosh. Jane, thank you. Just look into it when she can do sprints. Yes, sprints, sprints. <laughs> bring it yeah it would be yeah it's, yeah it's a good one and everybody's reading it this month it's funny because dracula's been around forever but i feel like everybody's reading it i really am glad that i started it at the very beginning of the month because it's just not one i feel like i can just sit down Rush and through. read in one sitting yeah yeah it's, it's not fun. short like frankenstein is although i haven't read frankenstein yet um, I haven't either, actually. Oh, grandpa! Oh, I love. They had your grandpa. <laughs> He's so lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's good Chinese food. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, labor intensive. Labor yeah. Just yeah. Have a job. Yeah. And yeah, mine can be pretty labor intensive when I'm doing field work. Um, and that's actually kind of satisfying sometimes. Like at the end of the day, you feel like you got some good work done, but it also can be hard on the body. So I totally, but what we said, work is work. All right. So should we, should we try our first sprint? Yes. I got a dice. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Okay. So what are we going with? What we 15, do? 15, 20. Should we start with 15? I don't remember if we did 15 or, or 20. 20. It does not matter to me. Whatever. 20, whatever 25, feeling. 30, 35, 40. Let's do that. Start with 20. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. 25. Okay. She's, she's showing us her proof. Yeah, I need to get a nice, I really want to get a nice copy of Dracula because I've owned various copies of it, the cheap, like getting it from, but I'd like to get a nice one one of these days Yeah, because I like it so much. I, I try not to buy books unless I really know, especially nicer version of books, unless I know that I like it. Yeah, I'm with you. I And I'm just doing the ebook version this time kind of for that reason. It was like the least expensive and I didn't. I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind to try to check it out from the library. I don't know why that's silly, but anyway, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I add it to my collection. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I've created my banner and it looks like we're going to be going until 30. 30. Boom. Okay. Let's see one more, one more co comment. Yeah, 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 Kale. I, I, I know because it's so easy to find copies of Dracula, but I think I would like a nice copy for that one, especially because I like it so much. So, and I, yeah. and it's one of those ones that I could read every year, like during the holiday, during um, Halloween time. So, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, are we ready to sprint? It's time. Less than a minute. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm excited today. What's wrong with me? There it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I said, I'm a bit much I really today. love this cover, too. I've got my, really my $7.99 sticker on here. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Where's my mute? Where's my mute? Oh, I see it. I just realized my math was really bad and it should be until 40. <laughs> so we'll change that, the ticker. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm taking a math class right now. I didn't too, even double check you. I just was like, okay, 30, great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll change that. <laughs>
Welcome back. How'd reading go? Good. I got another two chapters read. I'm on 28 now. Nice. I didn't get very far. <laughs> got distracted by a few things. Oh, hello, Tracy. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anyone get it mad? Yeah. I'm getting better at it with my classes, learning how to teach math, but obviously not great because I screwed up. <laughs> page, didn't, page didn't care. Thanks, Paige. Hi, Paige. 6%. Very good. 15%. Nice. I think Jane was reading Fairest. Um, right? Yeah, um, Fairest. <laughs> so you're almost halfway now. Or a third of the way. Fantastic. I'm really, I'm re have I mentioned I'm really loving Chris? So, okay. So, you loved Cinder, Scarlet. You didn't enjoy quite as much as Cinder, mm -hmm. and now Cress is turning out to be a win, huh? Yeah. Good. I really like it. I I I don't know. I I see. I I think I kind of like see a lot of myself in Cress, so I think there's some of that. Um. And then, like, I know every, I know there were a lot of people that were really crazy about Thorn whenever they first met him. And I was like, oh, no, you know, Wolf, he's the guy. But, like, this book has, like, shown a whole different side of Thorn. And I'm kind of like, oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> You're turning into your new uh, Lunar Chronicle boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I, you know, I'm still not very far yet. But um, so that's kind of fun, though. It's, it's always fun to see yourself in a character, you know, to relate to the character. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. if I've seen myself in any of these characters yet. I can't remember who in the chat was uh, in the discord chat was saying that they were they were sad that we hadn't heard anything out of Scarlet yet in this book oh really don't worry that's all i'll say <laughs> i mean i imagine they all come together in this book yeah. at some point they keep just adding new characters with every book mm -hmm. so we're not gonna not have scarlet in yeah. you know she's, she's not, not done yet just disappear right yeah. yeah great job amy yeah, I, I've got to read that now. Everybody's reading and I'm feeling, I'm getting FOMO. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now now you sound like me. <laughs> well, so I, I'm I, I'm even debating whether or not I'm going to do Believeathon next month, which feels horrible because I love doing Believeathon and I did it last year and I don't know if Gavin's going to do it. You know, he's not going to do it again, it doesn't sound like. Yeah. But I, I just, I can't keep adding books to my TBR right now. And so I might, if I do it, I'm going to do it kind of impromptu is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, he even said like with the cards, you can just draw one prompt. And then when you finish that book, do you want to yeah. read another one? Draw another one. Like I, he made it very clear that this was like going to be super laid back and it was going to be super just for the enjoyment factor. And I love that. But yeah, and I did. Well, go ahead. But what? Oh, I was just going to say, I, because I have literally looked forward to Believe-A-Thon since it got over last year, <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I want an excuse to read nothing but middle grade, except for winter, which we already talked about that. I am going to read winter, but then whatever else I read, I'm it's all going to middle grade. grade. I, I just, I've looked forward to it for too long to not yeah. do it, so... Yeah. Yeah, and I, I did end up buying a few like I went on thrift books and I bought a few middle grades. A couple of them I've already read, but I figured I would use them in my class because they're books that I want for my class. But then I got like the next in the series. And then I also picked up this one, which everybody's been talking about, which 
It just looks so cute. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll probably try and read this next. Desk. Yeah, have you heard of this one yet? I haven't. By Kelly Yang. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people giving reviews of it recently and it just looks so cute. And it was like five bucks on thrift books. So I picked it up. Awesome. And um, yeah, so I'll let you know how that goes. Cause I probably will read this one next month. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna try and do some middle grades next month. Just, I just don't know how many, like I said, it's probably gonna be fairly impromptu for me just cause I, I'm feeling so overwhelmed. But I did buy the little compendium Oh, you did? That's so cool. Yeah. I bought it last year, too, because I figure I want to do stuff like this in my classroom with my students. And oh, so if I have idea. a little compendium, you know, we can yeah. use it and create our own little believe -thons within our class. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Absolutely. That's a good idea. Or do our own versions of compendium. So, I mean, of believe -thon. So, yeah, I did get it. I did get it. So we'll see. And then it also has a lot of recommendations, you know with the authors and stuff. It was pretty cool. So we'll, we'll Oh see. yeah, I didn't I didn't see the author recommendations on the PDF. So maybe it's just in the the physical. I think book. it's more just the author's own books. Last oh, year okay. last year the compendium was a little better, I got to say. But you know, it's still cool and I still Amy got Bowman, it. Amy Bowman loves front desk. If Amy Bowman loves it, it's an automatic winner in my book. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to read it. In clearing the library of middle grade, I think I have too many books from the rocks. Oh <laughs> I mean, the nice thing about middle grade is you can read it fast, right? Yeah, ideally. Yeah, it. I, I'm hope, I think it'll be a what lot of fun. What grade are you going to be teaching or what? I don't know yet. I mean, I'm still fairly early in the whole credentialing process, but I'm looking anywhere between second and fourth or fifth grade. So that age range is probably the range I'm most interested in. We'll see. You know, and it, you can always, you know, you don't have to, it depends on what you get assigned sometimes too. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. The cutesy cover is a bit of a trick. Really? Oh, of a front desk. Okay. That's what I've heard. Okay. And I'm excited about that because I want more books like that. I also got like, um, I recently, I had read this book last year for believe -a -thon. It's called Those Who Are in the Sky by Abby F. Johnson. It's about Inuit culture and it's by an Inuit girl, woman. And like, I want books like this in my class, like that have some, you know, more cultural elements to it. I know Front Desk does because she is, she Vietnamese and her family comes to the US, I'm not, I don't know for sure. But I want books like that, you know, with like good middle grade books that have a little bit more to it, you know? Yeah, yeah, a little something to think about. Something yeah. To yeah. <laughs> that was because of, of my comment. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my banner. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> well, Danielle knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have you, have you thought about what books you want to read for believe a yet? So I made a list. <laughs> yeah, I made a list. I wonder. I'm not sure where my list went, but basically I made a list of uh, middle grades that I have in my possession that I have yet to get to. And then I, I also went on my, okay. I love my library for what it is, but like, there is not a really great selection there. Um, but I did go on to their online catalog and I searched some middle grades that I had on my wish list. Cause I really didn't want to go out and buy anything, especially since I just did that book haul not that long ago in August. Yeah. So um, they had two books also that were on my wish list that I can potentially get from the library too. So I think when I, so spoiler, when I play my game in November, uh, my prompt cards are being replaced with the Believe-a-thon cards. So oh, um, yeah, so okay. I'm, what? That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it just came to me. Like, I was just like, why don't I just do that? If I'm going all out for believe -a why don't I just still play my game? And that's how I'll choose my prompts. So, um, 
anyway, so I think I will, you, you know, I'll, I'll just consider that the library books are part of my collection when I'm, when I'm making the game and when I'm, when I'm drawing my books and stuff like that. So okay. we'll see what I get. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what you end up with. So that's yeah. like 30 prompts. So that's a lot of different options. Yeah. Yeah. But you've and got I'll a list just, of possibilities for all of them. I didn't, I didn't break it down like that so much. I just was kind of like seeing what I have. I felt like the prompts were, I mean, they're specific, but they're also pretty broad too. So I think, I think it wouldn't take a whole lot to get creative, you know, and yeah. be like, oh, oh, this works for this. But, um, so yeah, we'll see what I get. See what I get. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Oh uh, yeah, Sorry, middle grade March. <clears throat> Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a possibility too, especially because part of middle grade, I mean, part of March, I don't have school. So that might be a good time to do it then for me. Yeah, but then, yeah, if you want more middle grade, that's a good time to do it as well. Quit looking at that stack. <laughs> well, I already told you, like, November is basically not happening. So it's happening, but you're just not adding to what you've already got because you're committed to what you've got and. Yeah. You're committed to your schoolwork, and that is perfectly fine and beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, no, it's I, I agree. And I want to make sure I get our, our group books done because they're getting they're getting bigger and bigger. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> this is huge, yeah. and then winter is huge. And I plan on reading Stars Above in November also because December I'm doing my, my advent calendar. So that just takes the whole Oh, my month. gosh. I just yeah. – the advent calendar thing, like, I don't know, maybe I need to go back and like, re I know I enjoyed it so much. I feel like I need to go back and watch what you did. And like, I don't want to copy you, but I kind of do want to copy you because it looked like what? so much fun. <laughs> oh my God, do it. It, looks, it. it looked like so like, much fun. It is a blast. I love it. I'm so excited to do it again too. I have, it's, I'm doing a different Christmas Carol this time. So I'm doing different things, but okay. I'm just, I'm so excited. Like I can't oh wait. I'm ready for that. <laughs> and a school yeah. will be like the first week of December is my last week of school. And I think I only have one final ish thing. And so I'll be done. I'll be ready for the whole month to do 12 days. And I, I've made a plan this year that all the books are under 400 pages. Okay. So I'm hoping to get all 12 books done before in that month. Wow. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm, and I think you should do it too. Anybody wants to do the advent calendar, go watch my videos and copy me. I don't care. <laughs> I just love, yeah, I just love the holidays and I love doing, you know, like special things for this time of year. Like mm -hmm. if we're going to, if we're going to branch out and do something different, like now would be the time to do it. Yeah. And that's, that's how I feel. And it's, it, it's a fun month to do stuff in because it gets you in the spirit, you know, and, and mm -hmm. a lot of us take vacation during that time or have a little, well, it depends on what kind of work you do, but right. you know, it, and it's, and sometimes in a lot of places, the weather's bad during that month. Anyways, so you're going to stay in most of the month that, you know, might as well stay in and read a whole bunch of books. Yeah. And you can also do middle grade March with a bunch of booktubers. I don't, I don't know what Anne. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast doing it. Um, and um, not trying to get other people to watch my videos. I'm just saying like, no, if you want to do something you fun totally during watch December. It. You should totally watch it. It was. It's the such a blast to follow along and see what book got picked for which which ver you know verse because you did 12 days of christmas right mm -hmm. yeah. i did the song 12 days 12 days of 12 days of christmas yeah yeah that's what i meant i'm sorry yeah yeah no no no. yeah exactly <laughs> unless you work in red tail then it's hectic yeah i uh, i guess that's uh, the absolute caveat and you're absolutely you're right jane because i say that and it's not true oh, for yeah you. It's not true for everyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, I was like, where, where does that go from, man? Where does that go from? <laughs> or go to? Hmm. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I can't believe how quickly this month is going. 
Like it's already the 15th and we're already almost in winter time. It just is blowing me away at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. The leaves yeah. have started to change colors around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, here too. Just barely, but they're starting to. Yeah. Ours don't want to. I mean, they're changing and they're dying off, but a lot of them are just like, no, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready for fall yet. Oh, well, we're, we're kind of moving into winter pretty quickly here because it's getting to be cold and wet very fast. Yeah. Retail is rough. Yeah. I have a friend who I have a lot of Christmas traditions with, and we used to do a lot of things together during Christmas time, but she works in retail now, so she can't come up here to Washington and she can't take time off during Christmas anymore because of working in retail. Yeah. So it's tough. It's really tough. All right. So we want to try another sprint. Are we ready already? I'm, what do you I'm think? always ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do the three. So that's 30 minutes. Hey, this should be easier on the math. Hey, we can do this. So like eight, well, it'd be 830 my time. So, yeah. uh, so 30? On the 30. Yeah. On the 30. Well, on the, back, back, back on the 30. I'll get my banner ready. Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, it's it's socks. getting Ooh. starting to have to wear socks, starting to have to wear sweaters. It's cold. It's gonna be a weird winter. I think it's gonna be pretty cold up here, actually. I I'm wondering if we're gonna get more snow than we normally do. We'll see. I watched like some something uh, on AccuWeather that was talking about the winter forecast and. I, I didn't feel like it really related to where I am at, but I would ha I would have to rewatch it and see if see if it <laughs> meant something for you. I know I know he was talking about like the Great Lakes and he was talking mm. about like La Nina okay. and like yeah, we've got a La Nina too. So this is the second year, and apparently it's going to be colder this year, <laughs> colder and wetter. So we the rain is has started. Like it's it's pretty much nonstop for the next couple of days. So. Yeah. It, it's and then it I was looking at the forecast and we got a lot of rain in the forecast as well. So um which is funny because last year there wasn't quite as much rain. So this year I guess we're making up for for the previous year. Balances itself out. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. was your what's your what are your December's typically like? Oh it's like you just don't never know. You just don't <laughs> you just in Missouri, like, it's kind of a running joke here. Like, you do not know from one day to the other what you're going to get. And, you know, some year, like, I don't remember the last time we had a white Christmas. So everything is oh, usually, wow. like, dead and brown and gloomy. But, like, then, you know, but then we had, we had, like, some early snow. So it, it just, it, honestly, it just depends on the year. I don't know. I do not know what to expect, but yeah. My friend just moved to Anchorage in Alaska and they had snow like in the end of September already. Oh wow. And now they just got snow again this week in October, like the middle. It's it's just that's really early. So it's yeah. gonna be cold on this side of the, the US. Uh, yeah. well, so we don't usually get snow till around February, January, February, but we have been known to get it earlier. Like we have gotten it around Thanksgiving or in December, but not for the last few years. So we'll see. We'll see. Still rocking my flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do they make, do they make you wear, wear tennis shoes? Oh, for several weeks because it was cold. Mm, it's a bummer. I love flip flops. Midwest. Woo -woo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't imagine Midwest. winter in Wisconsin. <laughs> I cannot imagine. <laughs> yeah, cannot imagine that. I have never lived in a place where you have snow the full winter season. You know, just it's just yeah. your everyday thing. You're just used to doing everything in the snow. Um. I don't know if I want to do that. 
<laughs> I I like the, I like the snow like when it actually like accumulates and you know looks like snow but like when it's just like slushy and mm, messy brown. And, yeah yeah that's yeah that that wears on me after a little while but yeah yeah oh, I understand cold? we're here Top ready to hour. sprint we're sprinting till 30. Teach preschool special ed. <laughs> she has to be able to catch them.
Hello. How's everybody doing? Let's see. I I made it about two chapters. Yeah. I'm I'm struggling a little in the beginning of this. Like it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's just that I'm having a hard time getting into it. And I don't know if that's like, just me or if it's the first few chapters. Like in general, what's happening where you're at? Um, we're basically learning. We're meeting. Um, we're meeting Chris in the first chapter. The second chapter is back on the Rampian, and it's Cinder trying to get her powers under control. And then the third chapter, we're back talking to Cress again, and it's. Um, it's. I mean, I'm not very far at all, but I'm just like I'm. I think it's just me. I think it's well, just me. And and I would say things are gonna start happening. Like when things start happening, they start happening like all at once. So hang in there, man. Yeah, I will. I, I mean, I will. I just. I'm. It's probably just me. Let's see. Oh yeah, you're going into spring now, huh, Tracy. Right? Wouldn't it be spring? Yeah, going into spring. But still cold. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a factor. <laughs> yep, my little cat. He's funny. He's a funny dude. He wanted dinner. That's why he was making such a big fuss. Um, and that's when he's I went. He's so pretty. Netflix. Yeah, he's a really pretty cat. And he's one that found me. So he actually just showed up. And wanted to be my pet. This was in Texas. And he is a very good pet. Like, he is very gentle. You know, even though he's a stray cat. And there was no evidence that he'd ever been owned by anybody else. But he was very gentle for a stray cat. So, like, it was kind of strange that he was that sweet. And, um... What's his name again, Amy? Uh, his name is Isaac, but it's Sir Isaac Newton because I was studying uh, physics at the time. <laughs> so cute. See you soon, Paige. Hey, Magda. She remembered. You've read Crest, but save Crest for tonight. So you read part of it probably or read some of it or saving it or here to read it. Just watch the making of oh, the advent calendar video. Such a fantastic. Yay! I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm excited about it this year. It's gonna be a, I mean it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's gonna basically be the same thing. It's gonna basically be the same thing. Different song, slightly different way of picking the books, but oh I can't wait. And I can't wait to see yours, awesome. Danielle, if you do it. No, I'm gonna have to get organized. <laughs> I understand. Nine percent that time, great job. Great job. All right. How long is wow. 20, 222 pages. Is like rocket. Yeah. Gonna pick it up soon. Back pick up Chris soon. Bed. Krista's here. Hey. Hello. Oh, it will pick up soon. Up. Sorry. Yeah. It will pick up soon. I'm getting it wrong. The book. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, because I'm just. I'm, That's what I said. I'm having a hard time getting into it at the moment, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love springtime weather though. Springtime in Washington is the best. We ha it's, it's some of the best weather. Hello, hello. Oh, she meant to say, I read 35 pages. Oh, great job of there small spaces. Is that a fairly long book? It's not. Middle grade, no. so not overly chunky. I don't know how many pages. Ah, uh, Mag is reading Ferris, I see. So you've read Crest, but now you saved Ferris for tonight. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Everybody's saying hello. Hello, It's Amy. 218 pages. Oh, no, that was the acknowledgments. 216. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's, and you know, middle grade usually has much small, much larger writing and, yeah. Oh man, I just, yeah, all of you guys reading that right now, I'm just jealous. I'm jealous. 
I'm not I'm not technically reading it, but I want to really bad. <laughs> That's why I need to like rock out some of these books. I need to get get through them. I've got my um my middle grade horror for this month, which is this oh, hide yeah. and seeker book. I'm hoping to get to this. Cool. Yeah, it sounds creepy. It sounds creepy. So I'm hoping to get to this one at least. I think some of these smaller books I can I can I just you know, finished we'll watching Midnight Mass last night, so nothing is going to creep me out after that. What? Midnight Mass? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Oh, it's a show on Netflix? I looked that up. We got, we got done with the last episode, and I felt like somebody took my brain out of my head and stomped on it and then stuffed it back in there, and I was like, so I had, I had like a show hangover. Like, I was like, what? just happened <laughs> oh my but, gosh yeah but then i watched um uh steve D steve talks books and stuff did a a friday discussion with uh daniel barnett which is just an author that he knows i think but they they explicitly talk or exclusively talked about that show and so it was like an hour and 40 minutes of them just like breaking down the show and like really pointing out things like they affirmed some things for me like some of my own thoughts but then also they gave me some other things to think about okay. but i mean it's just like not like anything i've ever watched before ever and it's only seven episodes so yeah might have to check that out so is it a good like a this time of the year kind of show oh yeah yes yeah. Oh, okay. I might have to check that out. I'm, I'm re I'm watching New Girl right now. So like, my brain capacity can only handle funny, thoughtless, <laughs> not thoughtless, but not yeah. thoughtless, but funny, not having to think at the moment. So like, yeah, I'm, this is that's not, my, this like, is not like a lighthearted like, yeah. <laughs> show. <laughs> that's my choice uh, of like, I need a break from schoolwork. Let me watch a few episodes of New Girl because then I can just laugh instead of cry. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I will, I do, I'm interested. I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, audio Crescent in the audiobook of Crescent. I couldn't stop tonight. I mean, the pursuit of God may start sundown motel. Oh, I've heard good things there are about a lot sundown of people motel. reading sundown motel right now. And I read it. I think I read it last year. I really Did liked you like it. it. I really liked I picked, it. Yeah. I picked it up for mom. She's reading it this month. Yeah, oh, I really liked it. Was it was good. Okay, I, think, I really want to read it. I think I might have gave it five stars even. I don't know. Oh, really? I'm going to check. Yeah, it was really good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I do want to read that one. I picked up Mom's yeah, some scary Halloween books for. I was on, I hopped on somebody else's sprints earlier this evening, and there were a couple people in that sprints reading Sundown Motel. I did. I gave it five stars. Oh, okay. I even That's wrote a freaking exciting. review now that I'm oh, really? looking okay. back. <laughs> That's exciting. Okay, I'm going to have to work. I just yeah. heard the podcast podcast talk about Midnight Mass. I think I'm too much scared to watch it. Yeah, I understand that. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm I, not I, I can handle I'm scary. Not even, I'm not even, like, I never consider myself into like scary movies or shows or anything like that but this one had like a religious element that intrigued me mm -hmm. and so yeah i i stuck with it to the end so was it scary or was it more like mind-boggling kind of scary <sighs> it wasn't scary it wasn't like jump scary or anything but mm -hmm. It was there was definitely the horror element. Like there were definitely horrifying things that did happen. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Amy doesn't know if she'd be able to handle it. Yeah. It sounds well, so, it sounds no, intense. That I uh this like squid game thing that people are talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I can watch that. I don't think I can watch that. Yeah, is so. I'm not even quite sure what that is. But my friend messaged me was like uh, just so you know, Squid Ga Squid Game's scary. Don't watch it. <laughs> but I don't mind scary, but she can't handle scary. So <laughs> I think she surprised herself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, like, no it's kind of, well, I don't know, but it's like, seems like kind of like a game and they're, they're 
killing each other. So, I mean, um, in that respect, it's kind of making me think of Hunger Games, which I did enjoy, but it's just, it, I don't know. It's, it seems different. Sorry. Um, just the, is it just kind the trailer, of, I was like, meh. Is it kind of like those those rooms, you know, those um, those like mystery puzzle room thingies? Is it kind of like that? Oh, like an escape room? Yeah, escape room. That's what I was thinking. I don't think Isn't so. Like that? I don't okay. know. I, I have no. I know nothing about it. I just. I just know what I saw of the trailer, like the, you know how on Netflix, if you're like sitting on that screen, it'll just play the little, little. I guess it's a trailer. I don't know, but whatever I saw, I was like, I don't think that one's for me. <laughs> okay. Ace is at chapter ten of Cress. But reading Know My Name, I've heard Know My Name. So many people say they love Know My Name so much. And I definitely want to read it. Uh, it's an important story. But I also have heard Chanel Miller's an incredible writer. So that wow. is definitely one I want to read at some point. Jane just finished Sundown. Oh, everybody's reading that one. Everybody's reading that one in Dracula right now. And Small Spaces. My goodness. Time of year. I've been watching Everybody Loves Raymond at Night this week. Yes. you got to have those shows that you love that just just make you laugh and you don't have to think about that's what i've that's what i've been doing mia and i did start watching gilmore girls the other night and that was oh yeah of, how's that, that was going? Kind of fun yeah we were only two episodes in but i'm like this is okay. gonna be good i like i like our mommy daughter times so. <laughs> you know, it's such a good show i love that show in the fall but since i i feel like i just finished it a few months ago oh <laughs> You know, my full watch through. I've never, I've never watched it. it all the way through. So, like, when it was oh, originally on television, I, w I would only catch an episode, like, here and there. I wasn't, like, a faithful, you know, watcher. So, this will be kind of fun. Yeah. I never watched it when it originally came on either. I actually watched it later on, and then I really got into it. Like I watched yeah. it from the beginning and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I, I became a Gilmore Girl fan after uh, everybody else already was one. Yeah. yeah. Hey Ruby. She's not reading. She just came here to fill us alone while she edits. Uh, we're we're here happy for you. to have you. <laughs> we're yeah. happy to have you. Glad you're here. <laughs> Broken Girls by the same, oh, by the same author as Sundown Motel. Oh, Good look of that one. Is that also scary? Gosh, I I, I really want to read some down motel familiar. because it's yeah. it's like it's a haunted motel thingy kind of story. Oh yeah, it's and it's like I think it's dual timeline. It's it's good stuff, man. Okay, it sounds really. Oh yeah, Simone Simone Saint James. That's also the same. The Broken Girls. I got good reviews too. I I, I need to pull that up because oh. I I recognize the name, but I don't can't picture the cover. I have my Know My Name on TV. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good, Magda. I've heard so many great things about Know My Name. I, I don't. I don't think I've heard anybody say it's not one of their favorite books they read recently. Community on Netflix is my current fluff watch. I like that fluff watch. Yeah, I've. <laughs> I've got a few that I go back and forth between, but right now it's New Community. Girl. Community. I don't know if I know that one. I've watched I watched a few episodes of the first season. It was funny, but I've never watched it further than that. It's basically about community college and these oh. group of people that are going to community college. Okay. Oh, she's asking if, if Jane liked, liked Broken Girls. Oh, so Crystal loved it, loved Broken Girls. Thrills towards Off the, the end. Off the rails. Off the yeah. rails. <laughs> and so Broken Girls was a win me a bit to get into sundown with the way it with was the way written. it was written okay i'm gonna put i hate adding more books to my tbr well darn it i'm gonna be adding bro, broken girls I think, because I think if i remember correctly sundown did kind of creep me out like did it yeah and i can't That's really tell i cannot really tell you why you've just gotta you just gotta read it but there was okay. definitely definitely some creep factor there <laughs> <laughs> favorite pastime <laughs> well I'm trying to reduce my number <laughs> I, what is it? I got it down to 1400 on my TBR so at least you know it's not 1700 anymore Buffy 
Yes, Fluff Watch. I like that name. That's a great name for like those fun shows that you watch. And Buffy is a fantastic one. That's I um I love those older ones too. The ones that I watched in high school, like Buffy, Dawson's Creek, Felicity. Those were all the ones that I loved back then. I rewatched them recently, and it was so much fun watching them again. Such good nostalgic moments. What did you watch when you were in high school? So I did. I did watch Dawson's Creek. I. I saw that it was like around again, but I haven't rewatched it. Um, I don't know. I used to watch like uh, I don't know, just like I would watch like the after school shows, like I would watch like Saved by the Bell and Full House. Mm -hmm. and those were always good. Yeah, those were always good because they were always on. There was always episodes on of those. I'm trying to think like show shows, you know, that you had to wait for like a certain night of the week but i'm drawing a blank right now <laughs> probably wait until morning oh, i love i love my my therapy show is bones oh um, yeah that's yeah. my therapy show that's i yeah i'm on like season nine right now and i just watch it like this. Usually, like when I'm eating, it's kind of weird. Like I'll, I'll sit down to eat and I turn on bones, and my kids like, are like, "How can you watch that while you're eating?" I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I love it. It comforts me. <laughs> my friend has watched Bones the whole season, the whole series, at least five to six times. I love She's it. Obsessed. I, I haven't watched it all yet, but you haven't watched it ever. There's too many shows. There's too many shows. There's so oh, many good shows. <laughs> Amy. Oh, There's man. so many shows that you could say that to me about. Like, you haven't oh, watched that? <laughs> Send down Creeped Out Jane. I was listening to her oh. working late at school. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I, I really do want to read that. Maybe I'm going to throw out all the rest of the TBR and read that one. <laughs> Felicity, yes, I oh, love. I Felicity. did watch that one. Yeah, I did such a good that. one. The original Charmed, yep, and Felicity. I, Felicity, and what was I loved Noel. I was a Noel. I loved Noel. Yeah, loved Noel. But he, you know, they all did stupid things. But of course, they were college students going through their crazy. You know, they all did dumb things. I feel like in all those shows, though, you get these young characters that are doing ridiculous things. Yeah, Charmed. TJF, yes, it's Friday night and the mood is right. Gonna have some fun, show you how it's done, TGIF. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that was a part of life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a week for the next episode. Oh, what yeah. kind of life did we live back then? It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I love bones. Oh, Amy, thank you. Thanks. Certain characters' deaths. Oh, that that's always rough. That's always rough. Oh. That's how I felt about um, Grey's Anatomy. Like certain deaths, just. Whew. I didn't really get into Grey's Anatomy till more recently, actually, though. But oh, that's a good one. But it's so dramatic. Tell me Every it episode first came on, like when it was first a thing. But I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't continue either. Yeah, I watched the first season. Yeah. But that was one where every episode will make you cry and is incredibly dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I never watched. watched one -oh. Did you? Yeah. I never watched that one. I, I know it was ever. I know so many people that loved it, and I just that was not one that I I got into. It was pretty dramatic too at times. Rizzoli and Isles. That's that's like a book series, right? I thought Rizzoli and Isles is like a spinoff of Bones, isn't it? Or a spinoff of, it's a spinoff of one, or at least one of the main characters spun off and did Rizzoli and Isles? Or, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know. I know that I've heard, of, I know I've heard people that love it, but I feel like it had something to do with Bones or one of those shows. Ruby says, oh my God, Bones, such a wonderful one too. Wow. Oh, I've seen it so many times. I used to watch it while I did homework with my cousin who was maybe too young to be watching it. I'm so oh. glad it's not just me. I freaking love Bones so much. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, that theme song. I love that theme. I, I remember that. Yeah. See, I've never watched even one episode of Bones. Yeah, me neither. 
Team Ben. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Tess Garretson. <laughs> Tess Garretson wrote, wrote uh, Rizzoli and Isles. Adapted from Maura Isles slash Jane Rizzoli series. Okay. I thought okay. it was Tess Garretson. Never watched Grey's Anatomy I either. Something else by her. Ah. Uh, ER. I did watch me some ER. And I used to love House. Like, did you ever watch House, the other doctor show? A, a couple episodes, but not, not oh, regularly. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. McLeod's yeah. Daughters. I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Let me look that up. Let me see if I can recognize any of the characters. <laughs> no, I, I think I've just heard of it. Um, Rizzoli and Oz is also a book series by Tess Garretson. I don't believe it has anything to do with Bones. Okay, I yeah. Then maybe it was one of the maybe it was an actor or actress that or some of the actors or actresses played on. I don't know. David David Boreanaz. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but he's also in Buffy, right? Yes, Angel. I never. Angel. I. Ne I I never watched Buffy like faithfully, but I like watched it enough to know what it is, you know. But uh -huh. there's only also, also book series, but not completely the same. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I just <laughs> heard it. I've heard of it, and I feel like it had some. I thought it had something to do with one of those other shows. In Australia, we got all the British series. Oh, I love British series. Doc Martin. I look that one up too. I have a lot of shows to watch. Never, I've never heard or seen that one. All that's coming up are the shoes. <laughs> Doc Martens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. The actor who plays Isles was on NCIS. And Rizzoli was on Law and Order. Law and Order. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I honestly shouldn't be saying anything because I don't know enough about Rizzoli and Isles. Show relievers from the book series, but I love them both. Oh, I love good shows. I love good shows. There's still so many that I want to watch. That, like, I I would love to watch Bridgerton because everybody's so obsessed with it. But I want to read the book series first. And there's some other. I think ones I would there. probably. I think. Um, you know how Netflix like will recommend stuff to you, and I think it was because I liked. Um, Oh crap! What's the other show? <laughs> I'm drawing. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, what give me it? a minute. <laughs> How you feeling there, Danielle? <laughs> <gasps> what the heck? I, I wanted to say Northanger Abbey, but that's not it. You know the other. Oh, like, Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Yeah, because <laughs> I like Downton Abbey, then I would probably like whichever one you just said, and. Yeah. I don't even remember what I just said. <laughs> Bridgerton. <laughs> Bridgerton, right? that's right. That's right. I love I loved um Downton Abbey. I loved Call the Midwife. I loved what else did I watch? I'm really I don't think I watched Call the Midwife. Oh my gosh. It's it's so good. Like it's just I love it so much. I love Call the Midwife. What else? You can just read the first book of Bridgerton's and then watch the show. I watched the first and finished the whole series. Okay. I have the first book. I bought the first book, so I might just have to do that. Because I do want to watch that. I've heard great things, and my friend has already claimed the main character guy or one of the main guy characters, and so I don't even have a chance with him because she already claimed him. And <laughs> not called, fair. I said, it's not fair. Him. I haven't seen the show yet. <laughs> Yeah, she called this. It's not fair. Uh, me and Amy Bowman apparently have the same taste in shows. Call the Midwife yeah. is awesome. That's and seriously like amazing. <sighs> Call the Midwife is wonderful. Everybody likes Call the Midwife. I yeah, gotta watch Call it. Bridgerton Midwife. is great. I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Call the Midwife is so good. Oh, so yeah, Downton Abbey is one of my love, love, love Downton Abbey. Yeah. Such a great. I actually want to watch. That's a good winter one, I think. So I might try and watch that this winter. Um, rewatch Downton Abbey because it's been a couple of years since I watched it, so it might be time. This is true. You guys have great. You and Amy have great. Have a great taste. <laughs> I 
And this is and this is why I just take all her book re recommendations to heart because we have same taste in these things. Oh, the my Shell's boyfriend's leaving the show on Bridgerton. Oh well, sucks for her. Oh no. Well, yeah. I don't get dibs anyways because I'm so late to the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready to roll and see? Want to do one more sprint? Yes. How you feeling? I'm good. Feeling up for one more? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's a long one. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's six. So let's figure out the math for this. Um, should we start at fifty-five or should we start at seven? How how long is the six? Forty. Um, yeah, 40. It doesn't matter to me. Well, we're already a minute late, so let's start at 7. So we'll go at uh, 7.40. Oh, let me fix my banner. Oops, nope. Didn't do that. Did that wrong. I'm actually just really loving Chris, so this is great. I do not mind having more time to sit here and oh, good. vote. To I'm excited for the action to start. Let's get to the action. Yeah. It, it, it won't be long. It won't be long. I, I um, These characters are, are really becoming, you know, like the more you read of this, it's nice that we have this series because the more you read them, the more in, like endearing they're becoming how much I'm enjoying yeah. their personalities. And I still, I mean, I, we haven't got very far yet, but even the beginning of this thorn just cracking me up. He's just so funny. He's so yeah. clever and cute and he's a fun, fun character. He is so fun and home. like his dynamic with Chris is, I don't know. I Good. Just love, Better I just than love Wolf. It. Yeah, I just better than I don't know. yeah, yeah. This is not well, going to be able to make Scarlet it. Scarlet are definitely taking a back seat in this one, which we knew we knew they would. But I mean, it yeah, makes sense. Let's see, won't we'll make it this whole. So have a good night, and we're sad you're going to have to go to sleep. But <laughs> it's thank okay. you for thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm glad you finished your edits. Look at you. That's yeah, awesome. we did a good job chatting, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to read, Ruby? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Um, any other last minute thoughts? Oh, I to love to cress. And when the action oh, okay. hold, or starts, hold on. Yeah. Agree. So I love the action. And I actually love the action in Scarlet. So is it less like yes. fighting? I need, to look, I need to look in the Discord and see when I made a certain comment because when I made this comment, it was like all hell was breaking loose. Like, okay, it was. Uh, I'm like, wait, and then I like just spelled out like what just happened. I'm like, did this really just happen? Because I'm excited about the whole the the wedding situation because we're getting back to my boyfriend and <laughs> am i in the wrong book That's funny. Mm. oh yeah oh yeah it's soon because i posted that uh on, in the chapter six through ten section so yeah okay it's a coming Reading Dark Constellations by Pola. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, no idea what I'm in for, but it's for my book club and we meet in three. Ooh, three days. Is it a long one? It's Argentinian sci-fi. Ooh, I need I need more suggestions for like South American options for when I'm doing my game and I get like South American rep and it's random. Yeah. So let me look that up. Dark constellations. Yeah, the, the author, the South 
South American, one of the, like from, like when I use my South American representations from one of the countries in South America, Isabel Allende is really prolific and I haven't read anything of hers yet, but I've heard really good things. So that's one author I would like to get into a little bit more, but I always am looking for suggestions. <laughs> she thinks it's short, so hopefully in 40 minutes she can say more. That, that, <laughs> that would work. It got some rough reviews, so I'll be curious to hear what people think. I'll be curious to hear what you think, Ruby. All right, time to start. Let's get our banner up.
Welcome back, Kale. Okay, I'm in so, chapter five now. Okay. And it's it's so I'm not I'm not at the excitement yet, but it's getting really cute. It's so fun. Um I am enjoying like I, I really liked Wolf and Scarlet in the second book, but it's getting pretty cute. And then of course Thorn is, is hilarious. He's a lot of fun. But I was thinking, um, um I know that this is you know, this is a Rapunzel retelling so obviously it has a lot to do with hair anyways but marissa meyer has like an obsession with hair because if you think about how <laughs> kai always like runs his fingers through his hair and his hair is perfect all the time and then um wolf always has his hair all crazy and you know there's you know like it even says like oh yeah and scarlet was thinking about putting her hands in his hair and it's just like hair 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 and of Scarlet's course this hair has been all in knots before and yes Cinder is constantly fixing her ponytail. <laughs> yep. I'm like hair. Marissa Meyer is obsessed with hair. <laughs> Wonder why. Wonder what her hair's like. Have we looked in the picture? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I've almost made it to chapter thirty-three. Nice. That was a that was a good sprint then, huh? Yeah. So you're about halfway now. Actually, more than halfway. Yeah. Kale says she wasn't able to read that much. Hopefully next sprint. I don't know if we're doing another one. I don't know. It's up to you. No, but, I think I'm it's later. That. It's much later for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I got I got lots of homework that I could be doing. <laughs> Let's see, up to 75%, almost getting done with Ferris. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually really interested in reading that one because it's Lavana's story. Like I know that a lot of people hate Lavana, and I do too, don't get me wrong, but um, I am curious. I'd like to hear the, the origin story. I'll be yeah. interested to see. Yeah, I I did the math. I am over halfway. So I've read 286 and I've got 264 left to read. So, yeah, that's good. that's good. You're getting there. You're getting there. Got to get on that homework. Yeah, and then, I do. And the, There's a lot of it. Yeah. This one doesn't mm -hmm. feel like as much of a chore to me as the last one did. Like, I just... Really? Why? I don't know why. Scarlet felt like a chore. Yeah, I was I was struggling. That's kind of how I was feeling the first couple chapters of this one, but it's that's I can t already I'm I'm getting into it doesn't feel that way anymore. So I think it was just the first the little bit. I'm not I'm just not a fan of starting new books in general. Like it it whenever I start a brand new book, very rarely as the very beginning of the book, do my, do my end in it, you know, like it, it takes me a little time to get into books. Yeah. So that's my, usually my least favorite part about starting new books is the actual beginning, like the starting of a new book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, I find that one of the reasons that I hate starting a new book is I know that I'm not, absorbing like those first pages mm -hmm. like I could never tell you what the first page of a book said you know like because it takes a while for like the setting and everything to settle yeah. in my mind you know and then to start just connecting the dots and okay this is where we are and this is who these people are and you know but yeah I I well, like I said I've restarted a few books lately and so you know, if I kind of know where the story story already is, then re then restarting the book's not. I don't know. Yeah, it's not as bad, and it's not like it's horrible. It's just not my favorite thing. Starting new books, especially when I'm reading a lot of books, one after the other after the other, having to switch my brain to a new writing style, a new tone of the story, a new setting, characters. I guess that's the nice thing about reading series is that typically you get the same vibe going throughout yeah. or at least a lot of the same characters. And so that starting that next book doesn't feel as painful as starting a whole brand new book. But yeah. 
Ruby didn't read too much. About 10 minutes, my her, her partner came oh, in. Burritos. burritos. Okay, definitely intrigued. Yeah, it didn't get really good reviews. So I'm, I'll be looking forward to hearing what you have to say about that one, Ruby, because um, I'm always looking for, well, not always looking for add, to add new books to my DBR, but I like to have a variety of diversity rep because, uh, you know, sometimes my game throws me some really off the wall <laughs> prompts and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. need variety. Look at this. But I'm now, wow, great <laughs> job. Amy. You're a fast reader. You're a fast reader. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, what a good um, good start to this. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm really, uh, I, I can't wait, like you said, the whole Thorn thing. I can't wait to see this other side of Thorn. Oh I'm really God. excited about that. There's and so, um, There's so much that is you're not privy to yet. So I just cannot wait for you to get where I am so we can talk about it. And then like you said, you said that, you like Cress a lot because she reminds you of you. Yeah. And so now I'm going to be reading this being like, oh, Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> so she reminds me a lot of me. Because you can yeah. tell she's going to be awkward. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you you guessed it. Uh, yeah. So cute. It's so cute. She's a mess. Yeah. And like the whole like romanticizing in her mind, you know, I don't oh, want to yeah. go into too much, but like the yeah. whole romanticizing, like, it's going to be like, like tight. <laughs> yeah, there was one um, in the chat, in the discord chat, uh, Kim was like, oh, I want to, I want to um, adopt Cress's survival technique. And I'm like, oh, you mean the one where she pretends that she's, you know, some heroine in a, in a, a play or, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, mm -hmm. the school in distress. The yeah, I feel, I feel this. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah. Is, is. This is gonna so be it's fun. Totally awkward. I love that. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. That that makes that's always a fun character, like character type. I think you know that, especially when they've got that like romanticizing fantasy about who they are, who they want to be. And then the reality, their reactions to everything is so awkward because, you know, she's been stuck in this satellite for most of her life. Yeah. yeah. I, have a, awkward. I have a mug at work that says awkward is my specialty. That's really cute. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I'm um, good. Good. I'm excited about this. <sighs> got to get through it because we still got to read Ferris. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Just buckle down. <laughs> and these will go fast, though. I mean, this series does go fast. So I think I think I'm going to make it a goal that even though we're doing the pumpkin patch tomorrow, and I'm dog sitting for my friend this weekend. I'm going to make it a goal that I'm going to try to finish at least one book this week. That's a good goal. I'm not yeah. making that goal. <laughs> no, no. I know. We'll see how I do. Because I'm reading, what, three other books, four other books right now? Oh. And I'm not reading much of any of my books right now. So a little bit here and there. But Magda's battery is dying. It's too lazy to get the charger. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Magda. I am working on Mad Ship now that I finally finished Mysteries of Udolfo. So I'm working on it, but I restarted it. Another one of those books that I just, I felt like, I feel like this, the books that I restarted towards the end of this last, or the books that I started towards the end of this last month, I just needed to re, yeah, put them down for so long that I need to go back and restart them again. So wow. I've got a few of those that I've been just getting back into. And, uh, Let's hope it goes better. I've got a midterm exam on Wednesday and then a big project due on Wednesday and then tons of homework due this weekend. So we'll see. We'll see. But um, I can I can get through this. I can get through this. Just uh, do do your technique and like shoot for five chapters at a time. I, I that has helped me so much this time around. So 
it's a really good technique too and it worked for me last time so i do need to do that so i'm almost done with chapter five and i'll finish that tonight and do my little update i did one little update in the discord chat but i'll do another one and and just kind of do it that way and just keep doing five chapters at a time because it's easy to get through five chapters like they're so short and and it helps me to break it up that way i yeah. think because it doesn't feel as daunting as trying to read all this in one go. Yeah. Or in a couple of those. What trilogy are pages. you reading, Emma? Yeah, 63 pages left in your book. Trilogy is so bittersweet. Which one is that? Yeah, thanks, KL. It's it's going this this week is going better than last week. Last week I was in over my head and I was um, not doing so well. But this week, I actually feel like I'm starting to get on top of things. So that feels good. Yeah. That feels good. Yeah, and you're dealing with a lot of illness over at your house, aren't you, Danielle? Yeah, I mean. Stay healthy. I feel like we're on the uphill or good. downhill downhill side of it. So The, the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. The World Walker Trilogy. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds interesting. The World Walker. A yes. Trial by Fire. Josephine Angelini. That's what it looks like. Amy's TBR is growing again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> but witches in parallel worlds. Huh? I haven't heard of that one. I haven't heard of it either. I'll just have to look at it but no it's not it's not growing it's not growing thanks kl it is definitely feeling better i needed that because i felt like i got off on the wrong foot with school this this term well we better we better get off here before i yawn in your face again i like i can't i keep right. catching myself yawning <laughs> <laughs> it's okay sorry yeah it's late where you are and i know you've had a long week and and it's been it's been it's been a bit much so um but we will put up information about the live show which we haven't decided on a date or time yet but we'll put that information on discord once we get a chance to talk about it and um also we had mentioned in the previous videos that um, we've had a few people say they would like for us to continue on by reading another series. So if you have any suggestions for that, I know that Kim already put a suggestion for that in the um, the general chat, I think, of oh, I, the Discord I can't channel. I remember where she put it, yeah. Yeah, if you put your suggestions for series that you'd be interested in continuing on um in one of those chats i've been starting a list and i think danielle has the list now and yeah, we I'm will um, we'll kind of think about that we're not going to plan on that yet because we're still working on lunar along but um it sounds like this is something people want to continue so yeah. we're here for it we'll continue yeah, absolutely yeah let's see absolutely. it's almost 10 p.m here but i'm so tired yeah yeah especially with your new job go to sleep go to sleep get some rest <laughs> Yes, thank you so much. Thank you for coming and thank you for joining us and sprinting with us. This is fun. And it's a nice way to I look forward to it. Oh my gosh. I I like was just craving connection like after this week. So yeah, I was definitely looking forward to this. Yeah, and it helps me good it's night, helping me right now. Huh? Paige is like, good night, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Ember in the Ashes series. Yeah, that's an option. That's something I think that Kim already mentioned that series. So that one's on our list. Um, yeah, I mean, good morning. <laughs> Have a wonderful Saturday, Paige. <laughs> Thanks it's for joining us, here. Ruby. It's good to see you. The box set with the new art are the complete books. I'm assuming so. So I think so. I noticed that there were a whole bunch of little short stories that were kind of intermixed in, but I think those all those stories are in Stars Above. That's what I've heard. So I think it is the complete box set, right? I, I mean, all the stories that are possible? I would, for, I would hope so. We, I, well, somebody I don't brought know. this up. You don't know. We were yeah. talking about the one little short story that was at the end of 
that there was in like the the Queen's Army Scarlet. or something. Mm -hmm. oh. And someone had mentioned that that was actually in Stars Above, which is the last. So I'm guessing that if there are any little short stories, they are in the companion novel Stars Above. Oh, okay. That's my guess. But if anybody else knows differently and am I completely wrong, just let us know. <laughs> you just said lunch. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, um, we're all over the world. Yeah. It's like, good, -long, which is so cool. Good day so to cool. everyone. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Ember in the Ashes is definitely on the list. I want to read the short stories. Yeah. Yeah. That's one that we've made the option to read that in December or whenever you feel like reading it, but that's going to be after winter and I'm going to be reading it in November, but we've kind of said like on our little lunar long schedule that it will be December. Yeah. You don't like the new book covers. I like the new book covers, but yeah, the old ones are really nice too. I, yeah. The ones that I was, uh, you were showing me Mira, that was the older ones, right? Mira, the, um, the girl I was telling you, I was talking to on Instagram that I think she's from me. I don't mean, I don't know what, country she's from yeah. honestly but anyway sh the covers there are like completely different than than the ones we have here like just yeah i saw her her covers on instagram too they're very different the one for crest was kind of it was really interesting looking i was like huh i didn't know if i liked it that much Let's see if i can find her i don't know I wanted to see if her little like profile the old art set, better, but the like, new art set has all the has all the books. Yeah, it it's it's mine. definitely a decision. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, stars above comes out after after all the original. Okay, good, 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 good. I like both because the art on the new ones, but I still love the classic vibes of the old ones. Yeah, yeah, the art on the new ones is really pretty, especially the little uh, what's that second page called when you have oh, cool. Those. Wait, wait, wait. So got that. And then this one. That's that one. Wow. That's for Ferris. So it is nice. There it, it is nice having that little bit of art work, but well, it's different. I need to get a physical copy of Cinder in the original cover. I love, I love the original cover of Cinder. Yeah, it's beautiful. That red shoe. And the shoe. It's iconic. Kind of see-through bionic leg. Mm-hmm. So yeah, cool. the new ones are nice, too. I like them both, so I'm not, doesn't, I, I, I'm happy with my set because Magda gave it to me, so that was nice. And yeah. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything. That's it. We did good, guys. Congratulations, right. everybody who's gotten further on their books, whatever books you read. And thank you for joining us. This was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's always good catching up with you and, and getting a chance to talk to everybody who is joining us for Lunar Long. And everybody else who is joining us just for fun. You're welcome. So thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you later. Bye. Amy doesn't hate the new covers. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, you don't. <laughs> Thanks, Lisha. See you later, Jane.